Well, it's another exciting day in paradise, and boy, oh boy, is it a great day to be alive, especially when you consider the alternative. It is 5.20, 5.30 morning, early in the morning, just got done with a gem with my fiance, and uh, man, uh, is it a great day to be alive. Um, I wanted to make this uh, just video, just as a last video for my... Uh, my videos, I was doing uh, updates on the insurance um, investing um, thing. And I don't think there's any point in continuing making those videos um, because this is basically going to be the last one. So uh, I like to be honest with people. I gave it my all for two months, November, December. Uh, balls to the wall, hit up my warm market, uh, talking to friends and family, helping friends and family. Um, I actually helped uh, a uh, step cousin of mine a lot, um, so definitely had a big change, you know, was able to make a huge change in helping, helping her with her investments through the company I was working with, um, so I'm glad I was able to help her out, and I was able to help a couple other people with uh, their life insurance and stuff like that, mainly through my mentor. Uh, the person in charge of me, um, who I want to go out there and say is a great mentor. I have some great mentors in the company. Um, I just come at it f with a, uh, a different headspace. Um, coming into this year, 2021, I've kind of started feeling more like a beggar than anything. Uh, I want to have a boss mentality. In any business that I get into, um, I recruited like five people into the business. None of them um, really are doing anything, they're not really asking for help, they're not, you know, they just kind of went off the map, um, and it kind of gives me a bad vibe, because it's so easy to communicate with people, and text people, message people, say, hey, I'm busy, or hey, I'm dealing with some personal stuff, and stuff like that, that it's kind of irritating when people don't, um, keep in contact with you, or at least let you know what's going on, um, so I'm feeling more like a beggar than a boss, because I've, dried up my warm market and now it's all up to my cold market well something i've realized in this business is that i love uh helping people i love giving advice i love talking to people more in person and vo vocally than text message um i love the art of sales i love everything about sales but what i've realized in working as a canvasser for water treatment company and in doing this business is I love everything about sales except for the actual selling part. I don't like the trying to get somebody to buy something part. I love the building, the, creating the lead, um, generating the lead, talking to people, building good rapport with them and all that stuff. But trying to sell something, I don't like that. Even though I've been told by so many people I'm a great salesman, I'd be a great salesman, I, oh, you're a great salesman. It doesn't matter what other people say about you. It doesn't matter what other people think about you. What matters is what you think about yourself, your own perspectives, your own thought process. Try to. I'm always about being positive, and I'm about. Po I'm positive about this as well, which is why I'm coming to this realization. So, in regards to the life insurance and the investments thing, I've realized I want to be a multifaceted salesman. So that way, I don't have to really hard sell anybody. I don't really have to push hard and try and grind into them and be like, hey, but you really, you really should do this. I want to be able to, okay, well, you know, if you're not interested in life insurance, hey, um, what have you thought, have you ever, ever talked to somebody about having any sort of managed investments going on? So I want to get licensed in that ad, ad, asset. But I also want to get, I'm also considering getting licensed like in real estate. As if somebody's like, well, you know, I've already got somebody managing my investments and, uh, you know, I've already got a life insurance policy, but I've been really looking into trying to get a home. I, mean, I could be like, well, I can help you in that category as well. I want to be able to help a lot of different people in a lot of different ways. Um, but um, I'm, I'm going around in circles right now. But basically my point is that the life insurance and investment business is a great business to get into if you have the right mentality. And if you have a large warm market, if you have a lot of friends and family and stuff that you can you can help and talk to and not feel uncomfortable, not feel like you're begging them and nagging them because uh, I'm at this point where I, I'll message people on Facebook and whatnot about, hey, you know, uh, I know I said I'd check in next month. It's next month. Do um, you think you would, guys would mind doing a short 30-minute Zoom meeting with me? So 
uh, as to help me out with my training and also just to uh, go over some you know principles about how to save and make money for retirement. Um, and I always get the same thing. Well, I'm busy right now. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. Oh, okay. Now check back in with me next month. And then I'll check back next month. And here it is, March. And I've been checking back in with somebody like for six months now. And I don't like that mentality of feeling like I'm nagging at people. Um, I, I, even though I, they're, I know that they're missing out on a great opportunity. They're missing out on all, you know, saving more money setting themselves up for future retirement and things like that. I know the things that we provide are great. I feel like a nag like I'm nagging, um, if that makes any sense. And I like that. Um just being being real. Um I'm licensed in three different states right now and I think I'm just gonna keep it at that unless somebody requests um to get a policy or something like that somewhere else. Um and I'm just gonna focus on me, um, helping to better myself. Um, helping to get licensed in other categories, get more knowledgeable, because to be honest, um, one of the biggest reasons, things that's changed my mentality in this business was actually a failed sale, um, a chargeback. Uh, the chargeback was because supposedly during the uh, going over the policy and whatnot with somebody, um, it wasn't made clear that things could change depending upon how they answer their que a questionnaire or that they were going to get a questionnaire after they had applied for the policy. Well, when you're insuring 200000 300000 or so dollars for someone's life in the event that they die, there's some certain things that, you know, have to be questioned. You have to ask questions. You can't just give out free money. You can't just be like, oh, this is all good. Um, you have to be questioned. Well, said individual was questioned and answered something in a certain way, and it ended up changing the policy a little bit. He didn't like that very much, thought like he was getting, uh, you know, gypped, basically. Um, I'm all about making people happy, helping people, and I was all about trying to help him out, but he was past the point of wanting to hear anything more from me, um, and said he was going to look at other options, and that's his right completely. In for me, though, it kind of hurt a little bit because I'm... I, I didn't felt like I didn't do anything really that wrong. Um, I just didn't fully explain things. And I, maybe if I knew more about the business, um, I might not have made that mistake. But that sale was also done with help from another person who works with me. Um, basically, every sale that I've done, every business that I've generated in this business has been done with help from somebody. I haven't really done much by myself. Um... And that's a, that's kind of a uh, I don't I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I want to I want to be able to do things on my own. I want to be able to rely on myself. I want to be able to believe that I can do it. You know, because I know I can do it if I put my mind to it. Um, but anyways, I'm, this video is going on for a lot longer than I normally would. So I just figured I'd give an update. This is the last one for the life insurance investments. I'm still going to do it on the side. I'm still going to be licensed. Um, just. Uh, Coming at it from a different perspective is the best best way of putting it. I hope you all have a fantastic uh, rest of the week. Stay classy, and I'll see you all later. Peace.